This is the plaintiff, Miss Delora. She says she sold some Prada items to the defendant, and the woman's trying to stiff her. She has 100% positive rating as a seller. She wants her money and is suing for the $500 she's owed. This is the defendant, Ellen. She says the products she purchased weren't shipped properly. And when they arrived, the bottles of perfume leaked and they wouldn't spray correctly. eBay stepped in and refunded her money. This lady's stressing her out and she owes nothing. She's accused of purloining some perfume. The defendant has filed a camera suit for $500 for emotional distress. All parties, please raise your right hands. People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Leon is presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. All right. Ms. Delora, you are suing Ms. Ellen for $500 that you say you are out as a result of a business transaction you guys had. Why don't you tell me, soup to nuts, what happened here, Ms. Delora? Well, initially, I put up a sale uh, of some as-is perfumes. Everything I purchased is from outlets, high retail, and stores, and my son would call it my retail therapy, emotional abuse. <laughs> However, I purchased everything. It could be three years old. It could be two years. In the past, I was just going to ask, account- some of the stuff that you were selling was more than half-used perfume of... Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes, it was absolutely as is. And I was able to obtain the original verbiage from the description of the ad. I wrote in there, it is old, as is, used. So I made the, the bar so low. <laughs> for anybody to have high expectations on this. For, you made the bar so low that it's amazing anybody wanted to buy it. Let's see what... Uh, Absolutely. Yes. And she Prada Candy Floral Kiss with box used, discontinued. Old X collection. All bottles as is. Please zoom in. Yo, see. Cosmetic bag is dirty <laughs> inside. All right. And that I just, that's so attractive. I can't wait to get your used perfume. So just tell me right? when you put that online, how many takers did you have? I actually had quite a few. I had three people watching it at a $50 bid. And I got a solicitation from um, the defendant asking if I would uh, sell the perfume for $55. Now, I haven't read these emails in depth because I have a lot of other uh, fish I'm frying in pans in life. And so I thought she wanted it for $55, but she wanted it for $35 plus postage. I do will and deal with people because they will say to me very truthfully, I don't have enough money. My husband's going to kill me if I buy this wallet from you. Can you put the price down to include postage? So I do that. So I really was hesitant to sell to her because eBay has more of a flea bay kind of abusive system. What's flea bay? Where, <laughs> that's my term for for eBay because you're mad at eBay. Tick. Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead. The fleas, the ticks, and the pandemic. The freeloaders, the scammers have surfaced through. Okay, All through well, yeah, uh, 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 hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So she offers to you, if you haven't sold it, will you sell it to me for thirty-five plus postage? And you say to her, "Sure." I actually counterbid forty-five because okay. I didn't read it thoroughly. And so uh, she accepted it. She paid, and I printed, printed the label. Okay. So, so, yeah, we were fine. Then everything everything was fine. is great. And then what happens? You ship it to her house. I don't know. Well, because all my ratings are 100% on every platform. It's all the same thing. Thanks for the packaging. Thanks for the extra gift. And I did include an extra gift. So I get an email saying not to be picky. I just remember the gist. Um, not to be picky, but there's juice missing out of a bottle. And I said, okay. So we bicker. We do our thing. And I said, I got to go into save my account mode. So I actually appealed before she returned it. And eBay said, oh, maybe she won't return it, blah, blah, blah. So this isn't an issue of a label. Just it's a an moment. issue of Just her. Just a moment. Let's sure. look at the actual text that she sent to you. 
Hi there, you were correct, it got here quick. I'm very pleased with most of it. I'm sending a picture though. The large bottle of Candy Kiss looks like it leaked and dried. Please compare the picture I sent with the original picture. You can see that about 50% of what juice that was there in the original is gone from when I got it. I'm honestly not try to be picky, but that's almost an ounce. Now, here is a picture of what was in the listing. Right. And then that's what I got the day I opened it. And you can see. Okay, no, the this is not. Bottle. Is this, I'm sorry. Is this your picture? Yes, those are the pictures I sent. Okay, give me a moment. Which is the bottle that uh, leaked? The white one? The white one. The white one that's the, clear. The bigger that, white one. Okay, yes, and you that. wanted me to compare that with the original picture in the what listing. Was pictured. You can see that in the original picture, the white one was way higher. So it's like half of it was gone. So you say that to her, and what does she say to you, Ms. Ellen? She offered me a dollar refund. I yeah, mean, your email turn. to her was kind of nice. It wasn't like anything out of, out of this world. I don't know why her response was so, let's see here. Is this what you responded to her? Yes, when this we were wait. bickering back and forth. Okay, I, I want um, the bickering back and forth part. That's the part I want to yeah, see. Yeah, it's on the other side of that That page. was where she accused me of being the reason my son committed suicide, basically. Okay, can you give me, I'm no. very sorry to hear that, ma'am. Can you just give me one moment to find what I'm looking for? I'm looking for... So what she's alluding Just a moment. To. What was Ms. Here, the only person I'm talking to is Ms. Delora. Ms. Delora, right. what was your response to this July 14th email? Oh, the response, it was on the back of the 18. And I think that, oh, this is her. I'm not saying that in shipping, the candy leaked, the, the perfume leaked, even the picture shows. I do understand that you gave me free use Mac Thin Clutch and it was appreciate everything else. And I said, I'm not sure what happened. My vision isn't the greatest. Uh, maybe the heat and Paso Robles. I don't know what happened. Because from when it got to her to there, I don't know. Okay, how did you and receive, I kept her Ms., uh, Ms. Ellen, how did you receive the package? How was it packaged? Um, it wasn't packaged as would be described as to USPS standards the way she sent it. How so? Um Perfume should be bubble wrapped twice around, according to the, the website. It should be filled with like packing peanuts. Um, you could see that the two is had, this the box that the perfume had leaked everywhere. Is this the box? Yes, that's the box. That's not a particularly sturdy box, Ms. Delora. Yeah. This is a K cup box, like the. I went to go purchase new packaging because that is not my M.O. at all. Well, but this time and it was. So, so in any event, uh, Ms. Ellen, what were you trying to achieve when you sent her the original email? Were you trying to get some money back and keep the rest of it? Because you said you were happy with the rest of it. I was actually happy with the rest of the perfume. I could tell that it was a quality perfume, that it smelled good. But I could tell that through shipping... The leakage made the one bottle very cloudy, and I don't think I should. I didn't think I should have had to pay, even if it is a discounted rate that I bought for three quarters of a bottle when I only received one quarter. It's not what was pictured. At some point, you receive an email from her. What a petty, petty, vindictive, gaslighting person and a thief. What happens to your family has nothing to do with your evil, ungrateful spirit. I am glad to exit eBay. Glad to know you will not win this dispute. You didn't buy new. Do not contact me again. Maybe there is a reason your son snapped. I oh, feel yeah, like yeah. snapping. Mine I almost do. died four tykes yep. this year. Jesus, lady, you got issue. Now you gave me your name on Facebook. I don't mind letting people know you're a thief. What happened there, Ms. Uh, Delora? She told me what a great perfume retailer she was, how she knew all the shipping, how she knew every role on eBay. So in my mind, all credibility goes out the window because now this seems like a shipping scam to me. So I'm sitting here going, why? She said, look me up. I sold perfumes. I'm a great retailer. Yeah, but what's in it for her? Seems... If she sends it all back, like what's in it for her? 
other than trouble. That's what I want to know. Right, exactly. Because she sent it all back broken. Normally when, okay, now we're going to talk about that. You you receive it, and according to you, everything is broken, and you're going to prove to me that everything was broken by showing me a picture that you say shows that everything is broken. How am I going to see in that picture that everything is broken? What am I supposed to be looking at? That's how I received it. Okay. What is broken, then? Everything's gone. I don't know what you're saying. All the lotions are empty. (laughs) The half-empty lotions that you sold her are empty. empty. Got it? No, no, no. Those were full. And she kept three items. So there was um, a miniature, a a vial sample. Did you keep any of the items, Ms. Ellen? She kept three. No, Judge, I did not. She says that you didn't return little samples that was part of it. I swear I did. I returned everything in the condition in which I received it. I'm just trying to figure out, Ms. Delora, why you think there's a scam. Like, what? She scammed you so she could take up all this time in order to scam a sample that you can just go to a counter and get? No, she did not keep just a sample. She kept a miniature bottle of my original purchase and a 1.7 ounce of product kiss that were practically new. Again, she just stated that she was very happy. Why were you writing that? Yeah, I know. Her her email to you wasn't hostile. I'm trying to understand why you wrote her an email talking about how her son snapped. Apparently, her son committed suicide and you thought you'd stick that in her face? No. What could possibly justify that? I don't know if it's true. But why because would she you obviously to think it's true d- because you're saying to her, I can see that your son snapped and I can see why your son snapped. So she went to my dead son's Facebook page and grabbed a picture of yes. his dead father. Yes. And sent it to me. What do you mean sent it to and you? Again, to my son's again, page. Well, I'm talking now to Mom, Ms. Ellen. What do you mean dead. sent it to you? You sent went it- there. You took a picture of his father. You went to my dead son's Facebook page, took a picture yeah. of his dead father, and then sent it back through to me through email. What for? She, again, so there I is look an over email my back that now? is missing where she told me to go look her up. Produce it. So I went and Produce looked her it. up. Can I and ask you so a question, Ms. Delora? Why would you go to her deceased son's Facebook page? She told me to look her up. And, I'm Google. sorry. And then take a picture of her deceased I don't even know who the person is. And then send it to her. But what I said to her in that that? email, I said, is this the person you're talking about? It is not good for you to tell people. This is why you what, Ms. Ellen? I I said said it's not good. This is why you should not. She said to me with my ex-husband's picture, this is why you shouldn't share your information. Like showing to you that she could get to you? Exactly. Yes, I call, why would and you I send that? Don't why say would no, you? I, I saw send her a it, and copy it says, of the email. This is why you shouldn't give personal and share so much personal information. Why would you do that if not to sound threatening? I am an analyst. When she told me to look her up, I put on my Nancy Drew hat and wanted to know who I was dealing with. I found nothing of what she said about herself to be true. The only thing that popped up under her last name was a Facebook picture. I sent it to her. I didn't post it. I didn't blast it. I didn't. I said, it, it's not good for you to give people your information because they can do this. Oh, you were just trying to be helpful. Up. You weren't trying to throw. And me. I called eBay okay. immediately. Can you tell me Please. how it is that um, a $45 sale of used products, which I still can't get over, um, becomes a $500 lawsuit? Why would it be $500 now? For me, you ask. If she would have said straight with me, I don't have a lot of money. This is all I can afford. I'd like to keep it. That wasn't my Had situation. She wrote back You're not going to say me. I, 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 hold on, Ms. Ellen. Don't interrupt her. Go on, Ms. Delora. You know, Moore. had she talked with me and not just complained because I had that set up for another sale. Okay. I, I, and I, so I, I see a very I polite email where she says to you, I don't mean to be picky, but X. And then your response to that is to say, I'll give you a dollar off. You make a counter offer of a dollar. That, right, because it was as is. <laughs> okay. Um, the problem as with, a- yes, you say that, but the reason you lost four appeals with eBay is that as is doesn't mean that you can send it. 
in a way that evaporates it or leaks it or whatever else. And in the advertiser, there's this much perfume. And when it gets there, there's this much perfume. Uh, because, yes, she's buying used perfume, but she's, not, to- she's not just buying glass. She's still buying used perfume. So her only complaint was, look, it seems like some of this leaked. And then she becomes she becomes Nancy Drew. And then she pulls up the rules of shipping and everything else and how the U.S. Postal Service says don't send. I you don't know, know those shipping rules. No, I know. Nancy Drew gave it to me. And she tells me, look, what is the, what is this is probably why this happened. But you shouldn't be sending it that way. You should be sending it ground so that doesn't happen. So there's no pressurization in the airplane, yada, but yada, yada, yada. The- but tell me how it became a $500 case. Tell me how that happened. Okay, so what I what I am stating is that is what if you bought it today. Okay, for me, this is an abusive buyer. I've been selling very no, how sparingly. Is, how are you going to prove to me? That I'm going to get there. Li- no, and get so there now I'm, because I'm losing my patience. I have it all right here. This no. is all I got back. I, so you say but how is it that that's valued at $108.50 when you valued it at 45 with shipping? I had written if punitive damages or anything like that does not apply, then at the full value of to stop this in the future. So for me, it may be black and white and I could be totally See, wrong. See, here's the thing. And you sold on a platform called eBay. And so that means that both of you agree that you're going to be controlled by eBay's rules. That is what happens when you sell on a platform. So if there's somehow you say, oh, whatever you get, it doesn't matter how you got it because it's as is. But when she sends it back, according to eBay's rules, then she has to pay you $500. I I don't see it. That's not what I said. It is. You filed a lawsuit for $500. And you've got a counterclaim against her, Ms. Ellen, for $500 for what? Emotional distress because what? Because of the email that she sent you? Because of the email where she went to, again, my dead son's Facebook page, got his dead father, sent it to me. And what she said, that freaked me out. And then when she blamed me for my son be- son snapping. I mean, who does that to somebody? Who does that to somebody, Ms. Delora? How do I know if anything she said is true? And if it is true, You're my deepest flu- apology up. You know it's true because it you had already, true. you searched her face. Because, you know, I've wor- so why would you say to a human being, why would you say that? No wonder your son you know snapped. Why? why? Because I was ready to snap with her. I have spent 2021 losing everything in my life, my cars, my property, everything. So I myself have tragedies in life. The initial email she sent. I just don't understand a, how that would ever justify you telling someone, no wonder your son killed himself. Because I didn't believe her. Well, it turns out you were wrong, right? And I said, shame on me if I'm wrong. And I deeply apologize if what is going on in your life is true. But we're all living where, a tragedy. Where is all, any, but, of, you know, you any of what you just said, none that of that was of in the email, father. just so you know. Not one word that you just said, no. shame on me if it's true. And, uh, you know, but what you said was, you evil person. Your personal life has nothing to do and with I what's started happening. Okay, at we're that done. Point, we're done. Stick a fork in me. I am done. On your claim against Ms. Ellen, zero. This will be now the fifth time that someone <laughs> tells you that. And on your That's claim okay. against her for emotional distress, I understand what you are saying. Okay? I do. I understand that that is distressing. But I am not going to order her to pay you $500 for saying it. Her punishment is that she is humiliated. Okay? <laughs> not at all. On pe- well, you should be. Um, but <laughs> I'm but not. that does not really. The fact that you're not talks to your character, lady. She lied okay. to me and okay. she kept my property. Uh, yeah, verdict for Ms. Ellen on, on, on that claim. Thank you, Judge. Uh, let's start with Ms. Deloria. Uh, you filed for $500 against her. You did not prevail. What are you thinking now? How do you, how do you react? I understand what I said was mean. If it was true, but does that justify someone breaking and keeping your property? In my mind, no. I lost out property and I had to pay $70 for it. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but you lose. Uh, Ellen, let me ask you, you lose too. What What are you thinking? Um, honestly, I'm okay with it because it was never honestly about the money. I just wanted it to be known how this woman treated me and her character. So just to know that maybe she'll get a chance to sit back and look at this one day and realize how messed up it is, is all I really need. All right. Well, you made your point. Okay. 
You made your point. Very good. Harvey? Well, Doug, i got to say, this is an interesting case because really the judge had no jurisdiction because it was all mediated on eBay. It's sort of like an arbitration or a general mediation in a civil case that the forum for doing it is not small claims court. Well, if you ever go back to Astoria, maybe walk along Steinway Street? Yes. I remember years ago, maybe 10 years ago, my brother and I visited where our house was. And uh, we're looking outside and we call my parents and, w and we're asking them, did you put a fountain in between the two houses, your house mm -hmm. and your neighbor's house? Right. And my mother's like, don't be ridiculous. That was years ago. We're not going to remember anything like that. My father says, did it have a little bluebird on top right. of it? And we're like, yeah. He goes, yeah. SEO and I, or SO and I, did that because we wanted to be good neighbors. We didn't want a fence. Oh, so they put the fountain. And it was like adorable. And then we walked around and it's like beautiful now. There's firm bars and it's a really, you know, it's not sure. how it looked when I lived there. But no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I, I like going back to my old neighborhoods too when, it, when I'm in Buffalo and I get yeah. a chance to see them. But it's kind of true that you really you can't step in the same river twice. Oh, like I think you can step in it over and over. And it's changing up all that. It's and, just, and you always do want to come back and visit because right. it kind of brings back the nostalgia. And you look at it and your first thought is always the same thing. That tiny thing, it seems so big. Everything shrunk, right? right? Everything shrunk. Everything got right? really small. Yeah, and you were smaller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>